Hey, hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel 30CAGR. Today, I'm going to explain an interesting concept called gambler's fallacy. I know for most of you, this might be a new term, but not to the world of statistics and probability. For those who are well versed with mathematical concepts, you must have heard of this term sometime in the past. Today, we will see what this term is and how is this related to the trading world. And if you are not very good at mathematical concepts or not interested in statistics and probability, or for that matter, if you are new to stock markets, this might be a little overwhelming. So I'll try to keep it very simple in this video. Before we jump into the topic, let me ask you this question. Let's say you are flipping a coin and in four consecutive events, you observed that the output is heads. So all four times you got heads when you flipped the coin. Now, what would be the outcome of fifth flip? Would you bet on tails or would you bet on heads? Think about it while I introduce myself for a minute. My name is Raj and 30CAGR.com is my blog. I have two flagship strategies posted on this blog. One is ISS, which is for intraday option traders who want to make consistent monthly income. And then the second is PDR strategy, which is for working professionals. They just have to spend one hour every month and can earn around 30 to 50% returns on an average every year. If you want to have a closer look at both these two strategies, you can visit my blog or you can also check my YouTube channel. I have posted detailed videos of both these strategies. And of course, you can also avail trading bot to trade in intraday options. If you want to know more about that as well, you can visit my blog. And finally, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately and don't forget to hit on bell icon. You receive all interesting videos about stock market and new strategies straight to your inbox and mobile notifications. Okay, let's get back to the topic here. I asked what would be the output of the fifth flip. Let's park that aside for some time and let's see what this term fallacy means. A belief which most of the people believe but is completely false is called a fallacy. We tend to believe certain statements which are not really true. Those beliefs we call as fallacy. Now, why are we tying up this with gamblers? Generally, if you observe in European countries or in United States, there are so many people who play casino. What they tend to believe is if there are series of events giving same kind of output, then the next output would be different. This is what their belief is. And this is exactly what statistics and probability negates. It says that there is no such rule or concept that says if a series of events have same output, then the next instance will give different output. To put it very simple, even we inherently and intuitively think that uh, if heads, heads, heads and heads are the outputs of four events, then the next one would be tails, right? This is very obvious. Most of us think this way. But what these probability concepts say is there is no relationship between two outputs. They are not humans, right? They don't have human brains. So what happens in this event has no relationship with what happens in the previous events. They are completely independent of each other. So the term independent is what you often find in probability, right? That says that there is no relationship between these two independent events, which also means that this fifth event can also be heads and sixth can also be heads. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth can also be heads. There is no reason for us to believe that because there are series of events giving same output, in this case, same heads for five times or ten times, we cannot think that the next output would be any different. I know this is a little difficult to digest, but this is what this gambler's fallacy is. Gamblers generally do that. If they keep losing for four or five times because of an output, they think that next time the output would be different. And for that matter, even we think that, right? Let's say markets are falling. For four days, markets continuously fell for one or two percent. 
then we might think that okay since markets are falling for four or five days next day market might go up right which is exactly not correct now whenever i say this in my webinars some of the students ask me so you taught us that there is a concept called law of large numbers and this looks exactly counter to that logic so how is it possible i have explained law of large numbers in my iss strategy part three if you haven't watched please go ahead and watch but let me again explain that in a very simple language what this law of large numbers say is if you do the same thing again and again for hundreds and thousands of times then the practical accuracy comes closer to the theoretical accuracy let me give you a small example we are again flipping a coin we all know that the probability of heads is equal to the probability of tails right both have 50 50 probability you never know what might happen if you flip a coin so what this means is if you flip the coin for thousand times then out of this thousand times 500 times we should get heads and then 500 times we should get tails right this is like 50 percent probability now this is all theoretical now take a coin and start flipping the coin if you flip the coin for let us say four times is there a guarantee that this 50 percent will be honored and you get exactly two heads and then two tails no right there is no guarantee you might get three heads or you might get four heads also if you do it for 10 times it might not happen if you do it for 100 times it might not happen but if you do it for 1000 times 10000 times or 1 lakh times then this probability of 50 percent will get closer and closer and closer there are so many simulations available on google you can go and just type law of large numbers simulation you can easily find them so what this says is if you do it for large number of times let's say you have done this for 1000 times or 10000 times you observe that slowly this practical accuracy becomes equals to this theoretical accuracy maybe after 10000 flips you might see that uh, 4999 times you might get heads and then 5001 times it get tails which is very close to 50% accuracy right now as i said earlier some students ask that this law of large numbers says that both heads and tails have 50% accuracy and in gambler's fallacy you are saying that even if we have four or five times heads there is no uh, reason to believe that the next outcome would be tail so is it not counterintuitive or are these two not conflicting each other no they are not conflicting each other let me explain you how these two fit together when you look at a macroscopic level 1000 flips or for that matter let's say 10000 flips yes finally your accuracy will get closer to the theoretical accuracy of 50 percent but if you zoom in and then look at a microscopic level of sequence of these events then you might observe that not necessarily we will have four heads and then a tail or 10 heads and a tail it can be like even 100 heads and then a different outcome of tails might start and then go again for 20 or 30 times or after a few flips again you might observe that there might be 200 tails and then only 10 or 20 heads it at the end of 1000 or 10000 flips you might observe that the probability is 50 percent but if you look at a microscopic level you cannot definitively say that because we have these many heads the next outcome would be tails or because we have so many tails the next outcome would be heads that you shouldn't be doing that is exactly what gambler's fallacy is you cannot predict the next outcome based on previous outcomes now let's see how this concept is related to the trading world first is don't change your trade quantity based on assumptions and perceptions let's say you are trading using a strategy and your trading capital for each trade is 10000 and you lost the first trade you lost the second trade you lost the third trade and you lost the fourth trade now i have seen many times where users pump in more money for this fifth trade instead of 10000 they probably put 50000 assuming that this trade would be a profitable trade because they already lost four trades in a series
and again this gambler's fallacy kicks in here and says that you should not be doing this because there is no reason to believe that the fifth trade will be a profitable trade this can also be a loss trade and the second is don't predict market based on the sequence of closures as i said earlier let us say market went up continuously for six to seven days now don't think that because markets went up six to seven days now markets might fall they might fall we never know they might fall after third day they might fall after fifth day they might fall after tenth day but you cannot definitively say that because these many times markets went up we have a reason to believe that today markets will fall markets can go up continuously even for 100 days i know i'm exaggerating a little bit but this is exactly what gambler's fallacy says you cannot predict tomorrow's outcome based on past events anyway what i want to say through this video is you have to look at a bigger picture instead of looking at a microscopic level of sequence of trades let it be you might get even five continuous losses or 10 continuous losses but as long as you are trading a strategy in a good number of trades your practical trades should come closer to your theoretical backtesting results this is exactly why i say that in iss strategy people might come up and say that uh, sir for the last four days i got losses is this strategy a good one or not this is the most common question that i get what i tell them is you might not get profits this week or you might not get profits this month but if you keep doing it for a reasonable number of trades like let's say you traded this for one year which means almost you end up trading around 250 trades if you perform these many trades then there is a very high chance that you might end up in profits as per the back testing results okay as i said this might be a little confusing but i think it's worth knowing about the concept of gambler's fallacy since it's closely related to trading world as well and if you found it a little difficult please understand just one point that you know you don't need to look at your trades so closely every single day you just have to keep it doing at least for a good number of trades and then evaluate your strategy all right this brings us to the end of this video and if you want to stay in touch with me please join my telegram or twitter and at the same time if you want to avail this free trading bot for intraday options trading then you can whatsapp me on this number i guess one other point worth mentioning is if you want to avail these trading bots absolutely for free of cost or if you want to avail all my future strategies for free of cost you just have to open your trading account using my referral id i put all the referral ids in the description you can open in zero the up stocks ls blue angel broken fires wherever you want you can open and you will get all these benefits for free of cost and i also have other social handles you can also reach out to me via any of these social handles or you can also drop an email at support at the rate 30 cngr.com thank you and see you in the next video